What is up and welcome to the, um, you know if I'm playing the Rocky theme song, it is an election special. Um, this is the Right. Um, we are brought to you by uh, Liquid Death, Murder Your Thirst. We are actually getting closer to a real sponsorship. If you do reviews, they say they'll send you free stuff, which, you know, in my in my book, free stuff equals official legal sponsorship. So, and of course, not being sponsors is not a cause for me to not claim to be sponsored. Sponsored by Liquid Death. Um, I do have my. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Supreme Court Justices mug um, that was going to fly now off of the Rocky soundtrack, but I do have time to. Um, I'm going to jump into a few things before I jump into the election special. I am going to start off paying tribute to, um, I don't know if this is the, really the most appropriate tribute, but it's, it's the tribute that I've got. Uh, to actually, I, I genuinely mean a truly revolutionary person. Um, Ron Popeil died at 76 this week. Um, the song's called Mr. Popeil by Red Al Yankovic, which I think I like to believe is a loving tribute. Um, I, I mean, Ron Popeil was almost, was like, kind of like the original Laurie Grenier. He was like a shark. He was, he, uh... He developed a lot of products, and he had an eye for what sold, what, um, um, I like this wig, I, I like the, like, curtain bangs, um, but it does, it feels like it's sitting on top of my head instead of, like, I don't know, it needs, a, well, definitely when I take that out. Oh, that's, is that better or worse? Yeah, that's, I, I, okay, that I like. Oh, it's, it's a little Karen. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know I'm not a big fan of that terminology. I think um, people who cause harm should be named, and um, people's names shouldn't be used to cause harm. Uh, 
So like I said, this is the election special. I mean, I will just sort of start off, I'll say it a few times throughout the episode. Um, we do endorse... We do this... We do... I do. I guess this channel is me. I keep saying the royal we. Um, Nikita Oliver for uh, uh, Citywide Position District 9, or I keep saying District 9, City Council Position 9, um, which is a citywide position. Um, we do uh, endorse um, Andrew Grant Houston for mayor. Um, um, there was a Medicaid for All rally. I was a little bit surprised that Andrew Grant Houston wasn't there for... I. I'm a little, I'm a little less firm on that one, um, and honestly, we'll see if he makes it past the primary. But I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crowded field. Um, but the, yeah, the Medicaid for All rally um, got my sticker on there. Um, on my purse. Um, got my. Now, how much would you pay? And oh my gosh, a lot of like the innovations, like the infomercial innovations that we use to this day, um, Ron Popeil absolutely came up with. So like, uh, yeah, now how much would you pay? But wait, don't don't answer yet. Of all those like hooks, those like they're really clever. Um, and he was still at it. He was still making pro like products, and, and Ronco is still around. I'm sure. I mean, I know it is. I, what I was thinking was, I'm sure family or something is involved. I'm curious. I wonder. Um, oh, this already happened. Okay. Um, this was on Friday. Uh, was this in Mont Montlake Terrace? A uh, Primera. Um, protest. Healthcare, not wealth care. Um, Primera Blue Cross wants to raise premiums. 28.9% even after a 35% increase in 2018. Blue Cross Blue Shield is a national leader in claim denials. Um, with Blue Cross of Blue Shield of Tennessee rejecting 57% of in-network of in -network claims. Um, join us in demanding Premier Blue Cross stop exorbitant rate increases. And they are patients the care they deserve. I'm gonna. I'm, so elections are obviously important to me. I really want to get this filmed so I can edit it. Or I'm not. I'm not edit this show is not edited. Um, get this show uploaded. Um, I guess while we are enjoying the like. Socialist propaganda portion of the show. Um, let me go ahead and turn. The workers. Nowhere to go. I'm sorry. The Master of the is next. Alright, so there was a uh, Primera. I already read that one. Um, um, the 
Democracy Now. Um, that's, that, there's always someone giving out. I, like, I'm like, I mean, it's on NPR. It's not. How radical is this? But they, there's so, always someone giving out a, a Democracy Now flyer at a protest. Um, oh, yes, breathe for Kalani. Um, Kalani Bolton. Um, so yes, this was the rally that happened after the healthcare for all. Uh, we had to two rallies last Saturday, at least. Um, um, so here are the community demands: one, UW Medicine Valley Medical Center, give Kalani families answers, accountability now. That's basic. Uh, City of Renton established Brief Kalani Day through official proclamation and allocate funds towards asthma prevention and care for the Black community. And that that is that is also important. Um, the the farther south you go, the, the air quality and the, the asthma rates increase um, throughout the. And it's just, you can just see it mathematically, statistically. Um, and then Washington State established Brief for Kalani law, changing the name Urgent Care to Medical Clinic, strengthening protocols for pa patients experiencing respiratory issues and requiring implicit bias training for all healthcare employees. Um, Oh, this also <laughs> also already happened. The climate crisis solutions and illusions and online discussions hosted by Seattle Revolutionary Socialists. Um, heard the argument, you probably have an opinion. Um, mine is, let's get this shit done now. I am admitting I'm a little bit lower energy this episode. It is, as is appropriate, because this is a late night Sonic After Dark. Um, it is almost one, it is okay, after one in the morning. Hmm. All right, let's see. What do we have? I mean, that was that was a tempo. What, we, what else? What else do we have? Okay. Um, as as um, I would say, one aspect of this show. So there are a number of aspects of the show. If you don't watch the show, um, um, this is vinyl music. Um, I am a collector. Uh, I'm a hoarder. Super strong opinion. I probably should. Uh, Art Langley, absolutely fucking not. Like this isn't even the worst. Uh, 
This isn't the worst. Um, yeah, no. This, like, uh, let's criminalize homelessness is, uh, is Langley's entire campaign. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Uh, that, that, that is our official endorsement platform. Um, and fuck this guy. Um, uh, look, and this flyer is like Gal Khan said to me. I know a black guy. I have I have met to I have met and spoken to black people before. I swear. Um, fuck this guy. Um, I so I've had a couple of personal run-ins with Dow. Um, um, I remember once I was just like at a public hearing. It was actually a transit public hearing. It was in a church, um, and I was just going off about local politicians and how they sucked and were do nothing and talked a liberal game but did nothing. And then he got up and I like, and then then he was called to speak, and I had to move to for him to get up. I realized that I, I was talking, I was sitting right next to a politician, bad man, politician. Well, fuck that, whatever. Um, I stand behind everything I said. Um, I'm gonna turn away just a little bit. You can't see my cute nigga. And also, you can't see. The... Okay, so let's to recap. Um, Pete Holmes for city attorney. I mean, I guess. Oh, he's he is he is uh, endorsed by Guillermo. Um, and Kristen Harris Talley. Okay. Um, Bob Ferguson, uh, Rebecca Saldana, okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I should have, see, I should have looked at this, uh, Nicole McCree, I should have looked at this more carefully. Okay, I guess I am firmly in the Pete Holmes, but also, like, is that, yeah, you're like, people you like like this guy, so you're just gonna vote, you don't care about his policies. Um, I am an uninformed voter. Um, I still vote, I think that that's important. I, 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 I'm waiting for someone to call me out on this. I do the best I can, I look through the, um, I, I, I do look at the flyers that I get sent, but that's advertising, so I don't. I look through the voter guide, but I also, again, that's self-published by the... We'll, we'll, look, we'll be looking at that in a moment. Um, oh, I am going to play this, too. This is Bad Girlfriend. I like this song. Um, yeah, Art Langley, I don't have to read. I, fuck this guy. He's just using, like, look at this glove in a doorway, like, fear tactics. This is some... Constantine has like the governors in terms of and that's that was a hold your nose vote. I mean obviously I wasn't voting for him. Oh, I didn't. I didn't vote for him. And I remember angering people about that, but I still don't give a shit. Um if Lauren Culp had won, I might have a different perspective, but I knew that wasn't happening and I mean kind of fuck Jay Inslee. I mean I I almost I would have endorsed him for may, uh, for governor for president at one point, but Um, best starts for kids. Uh, yes, I am. I am. Um, 
fuck this guy. Um, this is Sarah Nelson. She is running for position nine. Um, she's a she's a pro homeless sweet Nimbia. So I mean, I'll just put put that out there. Um, again, best starts for kids. Um, yeah, different logos and still not out. Yeah. Best starts for kids, yes. Um, that is, I am speaking for myself. Um, not an organization, though. I think I could. Um, yeah, we're not going to listen to the entire Emily album. I have a tendency to do that on this show. When I get caught up in what I'm talking about. Feature that's not gonna age well, but. This song is so cringe. Um, this is Hello Kitty by Apple Levine. So we're not we're not impressed. Uh, um, I've had enough with like scare tactics like this. You'll still Artline will still do better than anyone I ever watched. Bruce Harrell, trash, tense, needles, he's using the same scare tactics, fuck him. Um, but then also starting to restore Seattle's promise. Yes, I get it, you were a community organizer a long time ago, but I think you've given up that um, street level integrity. Yes, also you were a football player, but again, that was a very long time ago. Like you're really trading on uh, fucking giving children high fives, like, uh, 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 I can't do this. Um, and then I can't say I know too much about Echo Hopper. Um, I mentioned Andrew Grant Houston was not at the Medicare for All. Um, Peter Oliver was. Um, they spoke in a number of times recently um, at the Missing Indigenous Women March, at the um, Juneteenth. Was that Juneteenth? At. Um,
Okay. Disco version is not playing. Up is up. So ballot. on the list, that's that's a plus. Is it ever the only one that's not going to be a Oh my god, Good Spaces guy is running for county executive. I don't know why that's funny. Um, Joe Nguyen, Jonathan Crimes, Bill Hurt. Am I going to write someone in? Uh-oh. Um, okay, oh, there's no lie. Okay, there's... That's an awfully, that's an awfully fat pamphlet for their really old lady. Okay. So, uh, best start for kids, approved. I might be able to get the whole thing done in this. Uh, I'm going to leave executive blank for the moment. Uh, mayor. endorsing Teresa Mosqueda. I didn't say that. Dusty Hill uh, died at also 76. I think Ron Papil was 76 and Dusty Hill was 76. Um, Dusty Hill of ZZ Top. This is... Uh, this is Double Back off of the Back to the Future Part 3 soundtrack in which ZZ Top appeared. Um, all right, so the only thing I'm looking... Uh, all right, so I need to look at...
So City Attorney I am voting for Pete Holmes means I really only have to look up the executive or I can just leave it blank and call and call it. Because um, as I said before, I'm an uninformed voter, but rather than make a bad choice, I have learned to, like, rather than accidentally vote for a good space guy because I'm like, ha ah, that's funny, um, I, I will just abstain from voting in particular categories if I don't know enough about any of the politics. So, um, Vessel and Farrell. I'm sorry. While we're here, let's just fucking do this. I'm reading Good Space Guys. Um, um, yeah, and I'm glad they're on the same page because that's a, this is about how seriously I take Gal Constantine at this point. I never mentioned the second story. The second story is so he was on um, um, KUOW, which he is, I guess, every Wednesday or whatever, and then the mayor is on every Friday. Um, and he was just doing his regular, like, puff, blah, blah, blah. So I called in, you're allowed to call and ask questions, and I asked a question about um, Mike Brown, the King County Executive um, Sheriff. The King, I'm sorry, the King County Sheriff who is assigned to Dow Constantine's security detail. He was actually previously assigned to Ron Sims' security detail, which is terrifying because he was responsible for keeping Ron Sims' family safe. And this is a guy who's sharing um, Black Lives Splatter, like, memes on Facebook. He did eventually get fired. However, um, he's also um, Governor Inslee's cousin, if we're going to tie this all up in a nice neat bow. Um, um, so, Inslee came out with a statement, but the statement was weak, and basically just acknowledged his cousin, and then refused to 
comment on it again, never did comment on it again, um, never condemned him throughout the campaign, and then got reelected, but, I, yeah, um, um, Dow, I'm trying to remember, did he answer the question? He acknowledged that this was an ongoing investigation, said, I can't answer the investigation, and then left. Literally left the show on the street. I can't prove that he left because he didn't like the question, because I realized they don't stay for the whole show, like him and the mayor segments, like a 20-minute segment, and then maybe it was just over. Um, I still feel like he just didn't like my question, and I liked, I, I didn't think they were going to ask it. Like, they, the way they asked me follow-up questions, I, like, made me think they were skeptical, um, and I was like, fuck, do I have to, like, teach the news how to do the news? This is, it had been reported, it was, it was like a breaking story, it was new, but I, I don't think he was expecting to be called on it. I don't think, anyway, um, fucked out Constantine. He had a weak response. Good space guy. Minnesota born, educated in Germany, Sweden, and America. That's really specific. Masters and bachelor's degrees. Again, he was educated somewhere in the world on something. Okay, good enough for me. Occupation, taking the many jobs, prosperity pathway. Space guy became an owner. So speaking cryptically is his thing, I guess. And if you're confusing enough, um, so, but you're the owner class. I got, I got that. You're, you're not poor. Um, statement. Elect prospectus. I'm assuming uh, elect prosperous octogen elect pro elect prosperous octogenarian good space guy. King County executive space guy for short. Um, so elect him because he's prosperous. Richness is what he has to offer. Yeah, you can afford to run. You get it over and over and over. To prepare our minds for the amazing future, let's start referring to planet Earth as Spaceship Earth. On Spaceship Earth, we travel through space around our sun within our Milky Way galaxy. Okay. Uh, good space guy. Space guy wants to raise the living standard by abolishing job destroying minimum wage. He wants to abolish minimum wage. So he's the ruling owner class and he wants to abolish minimum wage. Got it. Um, also, this is an executive council. He doesn't even know what he's, he doesn't, doesn't like, what are your policies? As in, do you know what the executive, uh, the King County executive does? And what are your policies? Oh uh, my God. Uh, rental evictions. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I bet you're, I bet you're a landlord. Um, I think I knew that he was, um... Let's see how we, how high we can raise the living standard by returning to the economics of capitalism. What system are you living under, bro? Um, oh, I guess the one where us socialists are threatening everything to, okay. Uh, that healthcare for all. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're, 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 we got you shook, huh? Um, Alright, now I'm gonna turn the lights down again. I'm, I'm, get, I'm a little shiny. Capitalism is an entire platform. Got it. Um, I mean, I think I already knew that, but I'm always like, what is this guy? I mean, I, there's a whole part in the middle about space and blah, 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 but I just ignore that shit. That's, that's the distraction. Um, that probably gets fairly liberal people who can't read between the lines. Not that it's between the lines, but it's it worse. But... <sighs>
This is uh, Got a Girl with Things Will Never Be the Same off of I Love You But I Must Drive Off This Cliff Now. Alright, I'm not going to read anything about Dark Rooms. Um, okay, um, going across here, Jonathan Crines, um, Joan Wynn, Bill Hurt. Um, Crines has a Bachelor in Political Economics and History from College of Idaho. Um, Joan Wynn has a Bachelor's in Finance and Humanities from Seattle University with a minor in Economics. And uh, Bill Hurt has a BS and MS in Engineering from Iowa State University. Uh, retired after 26 years of a Boeing engineer, you're probably out. Uh, occupation Senior Program Manager, Microsoft and State Senator, 34th Le Legislative District. I thought that name sounded familiar. Um, you're also out. Um, Jonathan Grimes is a security guard at Fortune Casino in Tukwila, uh, sole proprietor of Tapata Design Company. Looking that up right now. Tapata Design Company. Okay, that doesn't mean it's not a real thing. Cut our type of pants. Apparently, they do that is telling me. They're stretchy. Maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm reading I'm, in my studies um, discrimination, social inequity. Um, like it or not, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of experience, but he's got the passion and drive. And I'm not seeing any. He has no contact information. He has no. Oh well, he he is on oh well, he is on Balladopedia. one that we could.
Is it star date and the return uh, by star date 3040? 3030 featuring the seasons continue to pass. Why Justin Gordon Levitt? Spring became summer, fall dimmed into the winter's cold light. Yeah. Society Future continued to erode as the people began to collapse under the weight of economic despair. Ten years had elapsed since there had even been a blip of information on the whereabouts of the mythical duo. Occasionally a story would be heard, a rumor from an unreliable source in a bar or someplace like that. Inevitably it would be discounted as drunken hearsay, much like Area 51 with the Loch Ness Monster, Sorry, until they would have actually proven to be true, of course. Got my Keanu pillow. He doesn't look too good today. One by one, the bank. Oh, I see. Like, the more I sit on this, the more I use it as a pillow, the less he's going to look like. The middle class has faded into irrelevance. I move around a lot. I, 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 I don't get up. Which one is it? Rocking. Deltron 3030 being um, Delta Funky Homo Sapien, Dan the Automator, and Kid Kawhi. I'm reading Joe to end statement now. For 20 years, the current leadership failing to solve our biggest problems like homelessness and sector change. As we recover from the pandemic, we need an executive who will change the system right now and leaders who affect the values of Martin Luther King County. I'm the son of refugees from White Center and work as a janitor in my own high school. Um, word. Despite great adversity, I broke the cycle of poverty through support from public services and hard work and built a successful career in the private sector. As a state senator, I worked hard to make Washington a place where everyone has an opportunity to thrive. Since taking office, we've passed policies that are making a difference in people's lives, tax breaks for seniors and working families, strengthening health, police accountability, and funding critical anti-poverty programs to keep people happy. Um, the work I've accomplished in Olympia will show we can get things done. As King County Executive, I will have the same energy to tackle ongoing emergencies like homelessness, housing affordability, gun violence, climate change, economic recovery. Too many people still barely getting by for us to be satisfied with these small changes. Uh, with small changes. We need leaders who share the experience as families in King County will act with the urgency required to deliver results. When a terrible car accident left my father quadriplegic, our neighbors built my family a ramp that we couldn't have afforded on our own. The compassion is what motivates me to serve, to drive, the drive to build our future, and proud to be, proud for my three young kids to be here. All right, that sentence was a little manipulative. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting choked up. I'm tripping up because I'm just drunk and been reading, like, you know, um, Yes, Codrick, please, the father, yes, neighbors, yes, kids. Okay, we get it. Proof I'm like skeptical of everyone and everything. I'm, so I'm skeptical of anyone who sends me too many flyers and things, and yet I'm skeptical. I'm like, well, Joe Nguyen, if you're serious, how come you didn't send me a, like, how I didn't get anything in mail for me? I don't know. Um, 
seeing perfect opportunity. I stock two or three in the mouth without room to speak. The rest of my posse keep the nod and proceed to beat the bruisers. Confused and dizzy, talk them in a trash compact and now the history. The woman was hysterical and fits the grief. Don't miss, please calm down. They all gone now. She literally miss me, John. Chef Boy on D, mixed with a couple of booty magazines. Democrats, Democrats, Democrats. Oh, 37th largest district Democrats. Okay. Okay. Kentucky Young Democrats, Stonewall Democrats, Women of Color in Politics, Transit Writers Union, Seattle Transit Writers Union. All right. All right. All right. Kristen Tara Kelly Harris. Swan and Nobles, so a lot of his colleagues, <laughs> Jesse Johnson, yeah, uh, Lisa Herbold, But he doesn't have a website. He doesn't have any specific platform other than I learned a lot in school. And I want to encourage him to continue, but he needs to do better. He needs to be more specific. Not do better, but racist. Do better. But he needs to just... I, I, yeah, I know. I don't know. Oh, county executive is expensive, too. That's like 3000 bucks. I know he spent a lot of money. Um... It is, I want to say it's the filing fee is 1% of the salary. Um, if you're interested in running for any public office in, I want to say Washington or at least King County, and I'm pretty sure that's it. It is, let me, let me take a picture of that since it is. Yeah, it is 1% of the salary. Um, The student needs to have a strong show, and Dow, Dow needs to know. Optional security. Oh my gosh, I should steal these. I should just keep them since they're optional anyway. Um, If they're optional, why not just stop doing it and 
saved millions of trees. I have. You used to have to put a stamp on these, but you don't anymore. Um, I'm probably going to put it in the Dropbox just because it is it is getting to be that time. Um, in fact, I'll probably walk to the Dropbox at closing time just because that's like a ritual. I like to talk to the people who are there. Um, yeah, I'm that loser. Uh, okay. Um, I need to deal with these at some point. I need to deal with these. The, the democracy vouchers. According to Nikita Oliver's website, you can uh, you can do that. All right. Uh, Sound transit explaining possibilities. I guess the, the most interesting thing to report is that the um, I want to say October third, November third, um, that the the uh, university district station. Yeah, our on track for the biggest light rail expansion ever by 2024 will grow from 22 to 50 stations from 22 to 62 miles yeah because you're all going north you're finally hitting all those rich people and you had to do it south first because we actually use public transit so we were like the proof use case scenario that wasn't quite the sentence i meant to be um and then yeah and then now from that revenue you can uh, probably by the time it's built for like all to get all the rich people in from the north um it will be free which it should be i'm not complaining i'm not saying it should not be free for them because it wasn't free for us it should be for free for everyone they've done the math um, enforcing fare costs more money than the fare um imagine if you didn't have transit whatevers who are actually contracted by securitas they're not even like Yeah, publicly accountable in any way. Uh, oh. Huh. Did you clap your hands, say yeah. Um, featuring, this is a uh, cover up featuring Kid Koala off of Only Run. I probably will end up playing Only Run as well. I usually do. Um, oh, I'm lying. It, it's, it's, it's not just going north. Okay, it is going north to Everett, but it's going south. Oh, is it going to Tacoma or is it just hooking up and connecting with light rail that already exists in Tacoma? Uh, and east side. West Seattle and Ballard. Sorry, those people who wanted the map, the, map, the, map, the, 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 the monorail to go to Ballard. <laughs> Mel Melmore. I could not say monorail go to Ballard. Like monorail and Ballard were like they fucked up in my head. Seriously, where does it say though?
University District Light Rail Station. It is. It's October 2nd, I feel like that might be the show, but I also feel like the show needs a dramatic ending because that's just who I am. Oh, sign in deep below required. Wow, I miss that shit almost every single time. I like how it has it has a security slip inside and then asks you to put your signature and um, and, and a contact information on the outside. Like that's how security works. Yeah, I genuinely feel like if I keep going with this episode, it's going to be a mistake. Um, It's a live album, so I'm assuming it's live health. Um, the release is from 2010. The recording is from 2005. The band is From Ashes Rise. I always say From Ashes Arise. That's their name in my head forever, but whatever.
a huge stack of notes I'm just ignoring. I'm like, do I even have an energy do I want to go into this? Once I get into this, then I'll be like trapped in talking about shit. Um, I feel like... Is Siri open Tinder by childbirth?
Um, I feel like you're remix, so I'm just gonna go original flavor. Um, this is Pretty Girls, Britney Spears featuring Iggy Azalea. <laughs> Australia runs away. You can bet you 
I feel like I have to play this song every time I play Britney Spears song. It gets kind of weird. Just because people start to play. Mary. This feels unnecessarily upbeat and a lot to really going on at the end. Um, Oh yeah, but this, it's not the mood I was in, but it's in the mood I'm in now. Should I do like, if I do, if I drop my outfit?
Songs like I, yeah, I do have to so shut up, but I'm gonna play Water Parts. Um, and I'm gonna play You'd Be Paranoid too. Because that is my jam sometimes. Keep 
Saturday, August 7th, um, there's a boycott Julia's. Um, Julia's has not been paying their drag performers. They've been gaslighting them and lying about their wages and um, tip sharing without telling them they were tip sharing. A bunch of shady under, a bunch of shady stuff that happens in the service industry. It happens. And um, so if you want to show up at Julia's on August 7th, uh, wear a mask, come in drag. Look cute. Look cute, I'm telling you. Um, 5 p.m. Um, the Circle Jerks will be playing March 5th, 2022 at Showbox Soto, rescheduled from the Showbox Showbox. Showbox has been sold, by the way. I guess that's the news for that. Um, I heard that from security guards. I don't know too much about the details of what that will mean, but Showbox has been sold. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit slow. I don't think everyone I know about the game, I don't think they give a shit about me at all. This fruit roll up and for some reason it's I got some fruit by the foot if I'm just you gonna let it play. You can wrap your arms so tight around I was stunned by a bee for the first time at age 46. That was an interesting experience. When you talk, it's incursive to me. Um, PEMDAS has been trending recently. PEMDAS stands for um, um, police are evil motherfuckers. Uh, police are motherfuckers. Don't answer shit. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I believe that. I'll, I'll tell you. Because I, I say the same shit over and over. Because I just drop these notes on the ground and then pick them up again. And it's, like, it's like Memento. I just keep doing the same episode over and over because I'm super drunk and I think I'm advancing, but it's just the same episode. Um, so YouTube now has YouTube Shorts. That's not going to make a difference. Um, the reason TikTok is going to completely bury YouTube in like five years or less, and that's my prediction, is because of music licensing rights. It's because TikTok figured out music licensing rights in a way. It's nothing to do with short-form videos. It's nothing to do with dance crazes. It's nothing to do with viral challenges. 100% to do with, well, I guess it does have to do with dance challenges in that YouTube will not be a part of that until it deals with its music licenses. But I guess it exists in the world. Excuse me, okay. Sorry. Um, I 
just want to give some shout outs again. Shout out to Ashley, the organizer of the Kaladi Bolton um, protest. Shout out to Bo Odyssey, who just showed up everywhere. My friend Two Spirit, who just shows up everywhere, every time, for every protest. Um, shout out to Shama Salon, just for saying brothers, sisters, and siblings. Just, I mean, it's, it's like those micro little things that other people don't even hear. She's not virtue signaling. Um, And shout out to Nikita Oliver and the Black Panther Party of Tacoma. I hope they're not the new Black Panther Party. I hope they're the actual. Oh. oh, I said this, but I'll say it again. Um, all these garbage monsters who keep crawling out of their slime pits to say whatever the fuck they want about Simone Biles, you will never attach yourself to her greatness. So say whatever the fuck you want, because you're garbage and you know it. And if this is the only way you can achieve a moment of relevance where she has achieved a lifetime in 24 years. 27 medals, 24 years. Fuck you. Fuck you. Here's Morgan, Megan Kelly, Candace Owen. Fuck you. I mean, just, I, mean, I, I, I can say that every day. Um, So there are only four libraries not open yet. New Holly, Montlake, Madrona, and Wallingford, I think. Or not, yeah, come on, come on. Every day you don't open it, it makes this neighborhood feel like a satellite, like a fake, I mean, I love my neighborhood. Represent 98118, Othello! Um, and? Shout out to um, That's shout out to forgets what I was talking about. Um, Um, this is rather murder myself.
That was Good Try Devil, not the last track on this album. That is, I think that is a, a miss. It is such a closer song. Just as much as this is an opener song, I agree on this. My custom cocktail of liquid death and bleed murder your third. I'm kidding, don't drink bleed. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they don't have a legal disclaimer just because. I'd rather murder your third. Well, I, I really do think that's probably the Garbage! Ugh. Filthy! This is Severed Head of State. I'm not sure what I'm drinking. Poison Ivory is good. Um, something marionette. I can't really read it. Jump from the eighth floor of the vessel sculpture. That's really depressing. That's at Hudson Yards. I guess it opened in March of 19. I must have literally been there like the day it opened. Or, like, I guess that's why there were so many crowds and whatnot. Um, and if you are having suicidal ideation, please call 1 800 273 talk. And the the owner of the sculpture is thinking of closing it permanently. It's closed, this is the fourth suicide, and they've thought about closing it before. They've made some concessions, but yeah. Oh my god. Can we talk about the fucking baby? Duh baby. Um, and the homophobic rant at the Roland Loud Festival. Um, Kalani Bolton a couple of times. Um, Ruby Rose, the actress who, I don't know, she's famous for a bunch of things. I know her from the first season of Batwoman. Um, she was denied medical care. And I think this was in LA, but I'd have to look that up. Um, and spent hours like just trying to get care. And she was like, it's because of COVID. And I'm like, mm, honey, you're a woman of color. Um, hey. yeah, no, I know, I have been stung by a bee, that was an interesting experience, um, that's an idea, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes.
Four Seasons Total Landscaping. Just, just a shout out. Um, yeah, this one, this note just says, I can't read it. July 24th, Westlake, 1 p.m. I was there. Um, um, Richard Sherman. Yeah, Doja Cat and Sweetie have both worked with Dr. Luke. I mean, it's just... Um, what did Sweetie do this week? Something good, because she's amazing, I can't remember. Um, Nicolas Cage will not be playing Joe Exotic in Amazon's ad adaptation. His explanation, which makes sense, is like, the time has passed. It was, it, we could have got it going, but it didn't happen. And then now it's like the time has passed. Um, Brittany has, we play or Brittany as we do for Brittany. Um, she has won the right to her own, to her own lawyer. What the fuck is up with Matt Gatz? I don't know what the fuck. Um, Oh, Seattle Storm have a new logo. Six of the Seattle Storm are currently in the Olympics. Go sports. I guess that's the go sports segment. Um, Beach at Sewer Park is, I guess, closed due to no lifeguard on duty. I'd be curious to go out there on a weekend, sunny weekend day, and see if it's actually closed or what that means. Um, and then Alki Park continues to be early closed because of that kickback. Uh, party too hard. You ruined it for everyone. Um, It's almost three in the morning. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I, I, I won't lie. I'm doing pretty good. But, you know. Um, Sketches. 
I find the diamonds underneath the subtlest reflections. Hard ah, dude, the spicy of the food. When you choose, fuck they rules. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Um, Centralia and Tumwater were apparently both founded it's by black feeling. people. Um, it's a feeling. <laughs> That's cool. The darker part is obviously escaping the racism of Oregon. And this was, Washington was really part of Oregon territory, um, which was founded as a uh, anti black state. As an, it was it's established as an anti black territory, as a, not, as, a, as a racist exclusionary territory. Um, when Washington was founded as a state, it was not, but it, it part of its history was as that. Um, so Centralia, which is much farther south, um, was founded by someone named George Washington. Tumwater was founded by someone named George Washington Bush. Um, Bush Farms is still there, though the town's history has been whitewashed such that their sort of influence has been reduced or removed. Um, um, Will, William Owen Bush, um, Senator William Owen Bush, am I right? Also helped found Washington State University. Um, Um, Sunday, June 27, 2021, is the hottest day on record ever for Seattle. Was this one? Sonic Gaming My Bussy. What? Sonic Gaming My Bussy. That doesn't make any sense. Those aren't the real words. Um, this is Cherry Wine featuring Neil Long. Um, Love kills, focus, yeah. Hateful, it's 
Surfer Blood is playing Fat Suey August 13th. Said Surfer Blood and I had this song. Interactive Inquisitor. Top of Thousand Days. I was thinking that's Psalms. It's just Psalms. Yes. 
sound to make your skin feel close. Korean TV had an embarrassing moment. I don't remember the name of the network, but they used like pretty stereotypical like icons to identify countries. Salmon for Norway, pizza for Italy, which no, USA for pizza. Pizza was invented in Brooklyn by Italians, Italian Americans, or Italian immigrants. I'm not even sure, but pizza was invented in Brooklyn. I will fight you. But I won't fight Italians because it's their culture. If they want to say it was invented, it was, it's a version of something that was invented. Um, and of course, there are tomato pies. Um, Chernobyl for the Ukraine. Yeah, it's getting worse. Um, protesters for Haiti and like uh, um, and then Count Dracula for Romania not to like make fun but that's like that's just I mean that's, again I guess this episode the theme of this episode is just epic for him, so. Great, I could lose definitely as a I could listen to a whole album, but I just put it right here. Now um been in a pretty crusty mood, I'll just be honest. Um This is a new world order. Oh wait, this might be the B side. We'll find out what this is. for this episode
Um, did I mention that this is just charged in 2016? This is our most recent album. Thank you for watching. I mean, thank you for. I'm clear, if you can't tell, this song is called Rape. Note like this. That was Raped and Pillaged by Discharge. Um, if you're watching Sonic Roadkill, this is the election special. Um, it is getting late, so I'm probably going to call it and so I can upload this. Probably is an instant premiere. I said I was going to play Cutting Crew, and I will play Cutting Crew. Um, we do like a side-by-side. -side. That's in their art. You see the columns, you see the floor, and then that's my art. <laughs> I just died when I was on the road. Thank you. 
on the 13th, they're playing the Doug Fur in Portland on the 14th. I don't know why. I feel like I might end up looking at the long show for some reason. I've been feeling Portland, so yeah, maybe it's the time. Um, Tune Yards at Neptune, August 7th. Google Bordello at Neptune, August 28th. Water Parts at Neptune, August, um, sorry, October 28th. Um, La Luz at Neptune, November 19th. Buzz at Neptune, December 12th. That's the Neptune calendar, I guess. Um, September 4th, MC Lars, Mega Ran, MC Frontalot, and Shape of the Dark Lord at Vera Project. Yes. Chloe Moriando at Vera, October 10th. Um, That's the Sonic calendar for now. Sponsor is using the craft commercial. That and yet that one in this song, they it, it is it's it's a mood. It's a mood, and that's how it ends up in commercials. It's a mood. Um, uh, uh, and this song is a mood. Um, for the dark in the world. That was cutting through with I just died in our arms tonight. Um, Cliche faux pas or night of oh, John th John three sixteen cliche faux pas or night of the living. I'm gonna say cliche faux pas. I'm super confused. I guess it's okay. I guess cliche for. Wait, what? Oh, I see. John 316 is a different artist. I need to look them up. Okay. Say for the Dark Lord. Okay. Whale of Incredible. So, well, that's what I'm going to play. Some say the 
Let's see your first lift during the 30 years or so between BC and AD. 2,000 years ago, a man of myth and legend stories. Maybe you've heard him. He was a Jewish carpenter, and his mother was a virgin. His name was the Christ, and some thought him odd, because he preached in the streets and claimed to be the son of God, performing miracles. Did little to win over the Romans. Infuriated by his acts, they called him a showman, so they tackled him and shackled him and whipped him and beat him and tortured him. They did everything just short of believe him. They nailed him to a cross and left him in the sun to die. And here's where the story varies in everybody's eye. You can believe that on that day he met his fate, or you can believe he came back three days later. You can believe that he shall return again to the Messianic again and in the judgment of men. Again, we're hit. I, I failed to do Christmas in July. I just failed to play a Christmas song at all. I guess I just failed at that. It is now officially August. There was no Christmas in July on Trash Pandas TV slash Sonic Roadkill in 2021. I got confused there Is the artist. Now you really need to look at this. Oh, okay. Guess what? That's who he's coming for. Go group in there. I can't even get to the wacky. Go sit in that face. So all the non-believers around the world will be safe. All the Muslims and Buddhists, Satanists, and atheists. And the Jews will be saved too. But now that Jews are Jesus. And not the hypocrites. Oh, my faith. Because he's lying. Because he's right. And the heart of Texas will be my government. We'll get it the same. And anyone who committed a crime will be in his name. We'll crucify my ass friend. And that'll be beautiful.
Um, this is My Sweet Lord by George Ellison. Oh, actually, it isn't that. Oh. So a couple things. I am not playing My Sweet Lord, although it is the 50th anniversary of the concert for Bangladesh, and George Harrison is the best Beatle, objectively. Um, Chris Pratt is the worst Chris, objectively. Popular opinion. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't think those are actually true. Those are obviously subjective. Those are opinions, not facts. People get confused on that. First of all, it's weird that a 7-inch has a bag. Second of all, I'm guessing this isn't the one that came with it in 1970. And third, I'm just, yeah, whatever. I don't know. This is the, this, maybe it was. This is the Israeli edition. Um, but I'm not actually going to play. I'm actually going to play Dream Away which is off of the um, Time Bandit soundtrack, but also off of Gone Tropa. By George Harrison. So I think I'm going to get,
by the cure off of the close center. Yeah. Sometimes I sound robotic. I've been told that. Sometimes I sound robotic. I'm kidding. Whoops, that's not, yeah.
Right now, so we're gonna move on. We have a couple more tracks. We're just gonna get through. I call it a night. I know exactly how I'm closing out. This is it. No 
parts of the street shit. Then you start to try to bang around us. I'm gonna feast with it. Where I got keys in my watch. You rap little back, try to stack. But your blood not the same. Touch and your step don't accept you. Scared to kick it with your homies, cause you know they don't respect you. So nigga, please check the nuts before you step to these motherfucking real ways. This not the closeout of the album. You know, that's just my personal opinion. Try. 
that's my, I guess that's my. I don't I guess that's my submission for that, like, um, jackass thing that, like, That is the end of this episode. Please vote. Please vote and vote thoughtfully. Um, this is the election special. Uh, thanks for watching. I, uh, yeah, this is the end of it. Bye bye. See you next week. Like comments.